Hey guys, welcome to another Top Drives video and today we're going to have a look at the Tri-Series tune-up. Um, now, I'm going to attempt to do the entire thing. Um, we'll just see how it goes. Now, I know that initially it's actually all surface, standard and off-road and stuff like that. Um, and later on, it becomes... I think it's around 21, yep. So it starts then becoming the new tag and, of course, non-prize cars. But we haven't got any prize cars at the moment. Um, so about 18,500, a carbon fibre and a ceramic. Um, so we will see how it goes. Um, so let's just jump straight into it. Um, so, of course, anything... Anything you want with that sort of uh, setup. So we're just going to go and choose the Aston Martin to begin with. And of course, you can then use anything around 20. Let's just see what we've got to begin with. Okay, so we're first on wet. Um, and it's all against commons. So I, I believe even... Um, most of these cars should win. But what we'll do, just to be on the safe side, we're going to leave them to win. Um, and we're just going to have a look at some standard tyre cars just to make it a little bit easier. It doesn't really matter, I don't think. So we're going to there on the drag, that, 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 and that. And we're just going to see if it sticks. So guys, I know I've not been massively active lately making videos again. Just doing a lot, you know, working a lot and stuff. Um, now, the new update has been kind of kind to me, and you'll see my cars in a little bit. Um, I got my first legendary from um, the event that finished last night, so it was really quite nice. Um, let's have another look again. So we can stick that on there. Well, that should be all right on there. Well, we'll go and just have uh, a little change. I don't think anything like too drastic is really, really needed. Uh, that for another drag. Um, and I think just genuinely some cars like that, just to fill the RQ, no, like, no powerhouse is needed. I think we'll be fine with that. Uh, yeah, so the, yeah, that's a nice easy win. Um, the event last night paid me pretty well. Um, I did find a legendary, unfortunately. Um, as per usual, didn't record it. We're going to go there, there. Um... Actually, what I want to do is put that back on there. I want to put that there. That. That. Uh, that might be a mistake. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what happens with that. Um, it should be powerful enough just to out-drag it, really, on the slalomy bit. Yeah, it's fine. Um, oh, we must have lost the first race, actually. Okay. Do you know what? I didn't even look at the first race. Um, so what we'll do again is... In fact, we'll go there this time. That, 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 and that. I, honestly, I didn't even look at the first race then. <clears throat> so there we go. Nice and easy. Through that round. Round number four already. Uh, let's oh the hand does not meet the requirements so we need another another low level one let's have a, a goosey 
So we've got Tokyo Loop, Tokyo Drag, Test Bowl, Overpass, um, and we're just going to get rid of this pile of toss um, because I don't think that's a great car. Oh, that's even worse. Um, there we go. We'll go with that one. Oh. Okay, we'll try something different. Um, what to put in? Do you know what? We'll, we'll spread the RQ, actually, and go with something like that. And <clears throat> something like that. So that should be fine on there. That should be fine on there. That. Uh, that and that. I think I think that's pretty close to where we need to be. Lovely jubbly. I think we'll be okay with the rest of this, to be fair. Yeah. So, no problems there. So, what have we got this time? I think we'll be fine with that there again. Um, and then, which way are we going to go? We're going to go there. There. I think that's medium ride height. It is. Um, that's not... Is that low? Yeah, so that shouldn't be a problem. And I think I just need something maybe with some standard tyres just to get off the line a bit quicker. That Chrysler Drifter is pretty quick. Um, so, come on, go back. Thank you. Um, we're going to go 25-ish. Um, do you know what? Something like... Got to be pretty quick in a straight line, also. Um, how about how about we try that and see what happens? Um, so that that <coughs> that uh, no that 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 and that one. And we will see how that one pays. So that one's a good one. No problems. Yeah, I don't think this will be a problem at all. Okay, nice easy round. Nice easy round. So round six, we're still only needing two standard. So what have we got this time? Again, we can use that, and we can probably use that still. Um, probably that. Uh, we could probably stay with that. Um, and you know what? I don't think that will be too bad either. It's only really race number five that I'd be concerned about, if anything. So, guys, how are you getting on with the new update? Are you enjoying it? Are you getting through the challenges? Um, are you collecting your collector score thing? Um, for me, I'm just collecting it and not really doing much with it. It's not really interested me that much as of yet. Um, certainly not for rares and, and commons. So, round number seven. This is for your um, aluminium. Okay, so what have we got? We've got a twisty G4 slalom, twisty and a car park. So it's all genuinely... Um, twisty, so that should be fine. Um, that should be fine. 
that should be fine. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're just going to go and change these two out for some twistier cars. So that one and that one. Um, we will put a standard in. So what's kind of twisty-ish here? Uh, you know the Focus is pretty, uh, the Fiesta is pretty good and it, you only need three. So I can then choose another car of my choosing. Uh, we're going to go with the Chrysler Laser. So we're going to put that on there. That's on there, that on the car park, that on the slalom, and that on the G-Force. And I think that should be a nice, easy round also. Um, no major problems with that. Um, and I think I can skip it. Yep, no problem. So that actually, like I said, gives us our first um, aluminium. So that gives me the Mazda 6 2 litre. Okay, so what have we got? We've got two drags, um, a kind of fast Tokyo bridge, a hairpin and a G-force. Um, so we, I think we can stay with that there. That there. And that there. And we're going to swap these two out for a couple of draggier cars. Um, we've only, yeah, so they need to be standard tyres as well. Um, so the Monte Carlo is pretty quick in a straight line. And the Jag's also very quick in a straight line. There we go. So that's our two drag cars. I think we should be okay with that again. Now I'd imagine there's going to be a lot of rain and a fair bit of off-road, being that the tyres are what's important, really. Um, standard or surface and off-road. I don't know why I sat there and watched this one again, but um, either way, that is how to get through that round as well. Round number nine... And we still only need three, so we're still good. So we've got a test bowl. We've got an ought to 100. Um, and we've got two drags and an off-ramp. So we're okay with that. Um, so we're going to go in and switch to two more draggier sort of cars. Uh, we need one more standard. Um, so what sort of... Draggy-ish car do we have here? Um, we, well, we're going to go back to that. Um, and then the Bentley. The Bentley will do that. Lovely jubbly. So we've got that on the test bowl. We're going to go that on there. The Bentley, the Chrysler, and then the Monte Carlo. And I really don't think this is going to be too much of a problem either. 294 with that hand. So round 10. Okay, so actually we do need four this time. So we will just take that out and just put that in for now, just as a temporary fill. So we've got a city streets, a twisty, a hairpin, and then two wet. So... That will be fine for that. The Bentley's medium. Do you know what? The Bentley will be fine on there. So then we're going to go and get a couple of twistier cars just to make up the RQ. Okay, so we've got two wet. So that's pretty good in the wet. Um, what else? What else should we go with? Um, how about the Jetta? Um, and then, oh, we still need one more. So something twisty-ish. Uh, we're going to go with the Acura. Um, so, so that's fine on there. 
and we're going to go that on there. Hairpin, we're going to go that, that, and the Bentley on the city streets. And I wouldn't imagine this will give me too much problems. I think should be able to just skip through. Yeah, 251. Lovely. So round 11. <clears throat> Let's go. Okay, so we've got a test bowl and a quarter mile drag. So we're going to leave the Bentley on the quarter mile drag. Um, we're going to have that on the slalom. Um, then we're just going to go and change some cars out here. So them three... We've only got an average of 30, so we need something test bowl. Um, something with standard tyres that's going to win on a test bowl. Uh, we've got the Pontiac. Um, what else? Ah, oh, the Chrysler. That's pretty good. Then we need some kind of twisty-ish cars. In f mm. Yeah, it could have had the Fiat as well for the test bowl. Let's have a look at what are the cars we've got that would do a twisty-ish job. Um, it may be that we take the Fiat out for something slalom. Now, do you know what? That's super light slalom-wise. That should be fine. That's not a bad twisty car for its RQ. Um, and, you know, that's not too bad either. So let's see what we've got. So we're going to go that on slalom and that on test bowl. We know that. That on the quarter mile drag. Um, could be that those two lose. So we're going to have to see how this plays out. Because, you know, the Bentley, I could probably reduce slightly the RQ. So the autos I'm getting a 68. Uh, the Ford is actually doing all right here. Um, obviously a big, heavy Cadillac struggling to get around the corners. This is the interesting one. Both the same RQ. The Opal absolutely launches off the line. Um, but it looks like the Honda... He's actually starting to catch up around the corners, which is very nice. Um, and on the straight, taking the win. Lovely. So there we go, guys. That is a winner. And this shouldn't be a problem, I wouldn't imagine. 140 over 130 or 128. Lovely. Okay, let's see what else we've got. So we've got Twisty Road in the dirt. Do you know what? I'm going to put the Autozam on that because I'm always happy to use that on there. That on there. Um, that on there. So then I need a Twisty and a Car Park. So let's get rid of them. We need at least one more standard. Um, so we're going to use that. Uh, and then we're going to try what see what we can use Twisty-ish. There we go. Um, so that's on the car park. Uh, and that on the twisty road. Happy to put that on the dirt. And then I don't suppose it really matters which way we go with them two. They're both medium ride height. I wouldn't imagine this would be too much of a problem. The only thing that might struggle is the autos am going up the hill on that dirt twisty road. Um, but it is super light. It's got really good handling. So we'll see if it makes it up the hill here. Which it does. I think we've got the win there. That shouldn't be a problem. Lovely. And then, yeah, no real problem there for the BMW. 
Always a good RQ saver. So round 13 is for our... Um, it's for our ceramic. So we're just going to throw that in and just get a gist of what is going on. So we've got Slalom, which we're going to keep as the Autozam. Um, we've got G-Force. Karting. And then we're going to spread the RQ. So we need something... Um, for karting circuit and something for twisty road. Um, so we've got an average of 43 there. Um, so this little monster has been really, really useful. Um, and what else have we got? This BMW is not a bad one, actually. So we're going to go, let's go there there um, now did I say there there and there we'll just see what happens um, we can always change the cars if need be um, so the BMW does take the win over the uh, the Maybach this should be a nice win and in fact probably we can go a lot less than the Autozam if need be no problem for the Fiat. Absolutely no problem for the Janetta. Um, and this is the kind of the one that I was worried about. Uh, but the, the Ford does take the win. So there we go. That is for that. And let's see what we get from the Ceramic. I'm not expecting anything good, of course. So we've got the VW Passat and... Oh, nice! Very, very nice. Hyundai Ionic 6, uh, 77 kilowatt hour, four-wheel drive. Absolute beauty. Four-wheel drive, standard tyres. Holy cow, I did not expect that one. Um, so that is probably going to be going it straight into my finals hand. And I'd imagine it will be maxed. Low top speed. Um, <laughs> wow. Um, I did not expect that, guys. Um, that was definitely worth spending 100 gold on. Okay. <laughs> so let's carry on and see what we've got um, after that banging pull. Um, so... <sighs> Um, right, actually, I think we could probably put the BMW there and the Janetta there. Leave the Ford there. Um, and then we're going to use that on there. And we just need something quarter mile drag. Um, oh, oh, I've only got 30 RQ to play with as well. Um, I wonder if the little red express truck would do it. Um, I do like that little car. It is a rolling start, so that could make the difference. Um, you know, the Roadrunner might, might get a run on it. Although the Roadrunner's got like zero MRA for an American muscle car. The, the Cheval SS there would be the better option. There is a seagull in my back garden which keeps coming in and eating my cat's food. Um, I am going to have to go and chase the little bugger away. Um, <laughs> there we go. Little red express truck. I'll be back in one tickle. Oh, I didn't even have to really move. It saw me and ran away. <laughs> um, okay, so round 15. Okay, so this is more twisty. Um, so I think that'll be fine. That will be fine. That should be fine. That should be fine. And you know what? Mm, I don't know, actually. The little red express truck is quick. But I don't know if it's that quick. So how about something like the Dodge Caravan? 
So actually, I'm happy just to throw these cars back into the position they were. And I'm not thinking too much on this one. Oh, so something did lose. So I am going to have to go back and look at this. <sighs> Do I think it was that that lost? Because I don't think that would have lost. That wouldn't have lost. That wouldn't have lost. So it might be that I've got to take the Dodge Caravan out um, and choose something a bit different. What do you choose to go up against that? How about the Mercedes? The Mercedes, although slower, has got higher handling, but has also got some very strong MRA, which does make the difference on a fast track like that. So we're just going to watch, just in case it was a different car that did lose, um, but I'm quite confident it would have been that one. Now, I could reduce the RQ and go again with the um, the Autozam. Now, let's just see what happens here. And the Mercedes is catching up on the corners, but that crossback is very quick pulling away. So, yeah, we need to have a look at that round. Um, so, um, let's go with... Dear, 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 dear. Let's go back to RQ29 um, and choose the Autozam. And that opens it up to 43. So we need something a bit quicker. Um, how about the Cadillac? Oh, actually, how about the, the fish car? The ugliest car in the game. Um, and we're going to go that way, actually, this time. It might not be the ugliest car in the game, but I, th I think it's certainly up there with the uh, the ugliest cars in the game. But, you know, every car has its use, and we've said that before. Uh, now, of course, guys, if you are here um, and you are not a subscriber yet, please do smash that subscribe button and continue to follow me for more Top Drive videos. Appreciate each and every one of you. So let's go. Let's see if this 43... Um, he's going to get the win this time. <coughs> oh, throat dried up a bit there. Um, and that's your key to getting through to that one as well. It might be that another car would win, but that's the one I've gone with. So round 16. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, we need to at least have one. Um, one of these. So it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to throw that in for now. And see what we've got. Uh, okay, so that's going to go on there. Happy with that one on there. Um, happy with that one on there. Happy to put that on there, I think, simply because it's got the standard tyres. So I need to find something karting circuit, uh, and preferably something with standard tyres. So... Do I just go ultra? Um, see, guys, I, I know at this sort of stage, everyone's in a different position. Um, so, do you know what? I'm going to go with that 46 and see what happens. Um, so, I said that on there, that on there, that on there, and that on there, and see how it goes. So the BMW, nice and easy for the BMW. This, I tell you, this car was so key to last night's event. This is actually the first time I've used this one. and I, I, you know what? I really do like the picture on this one. It's a really sweet-looking picture. It looks mean. Uh, 
Now this will be close. Yeah, see the Ford Puma just yeah. So I'm gonna open up on the Ford Puma now. Um and we're gonna do something like the BMW because it's got the, the standard tires. Whether or not that is a mistake, I don't know. But what we'll do is we'll find out. And I'm going to skip uh, and see what happens. So, yeah, the BMW was more than enough to get through. And we're getting up to like 1,200 now every round. So it's actually two of the Asia Pacific Grand Prix. Now, my problem is... I've maxed a lot of the higher level cars and not so much the lower level cars. But looking at this, um, you can use a couple of low level cars um, and then actually build up. But there's, there's, you know, there's a couple of it's it's all twisty apart from the Tokyo Bridge, um, which I think that would be fine. Um, so let's go and get some twistier cars. Let's put some twistier cars in, um, and we'll choose one from the Asia Pacific Grand Prix as well. What have I got? What have I got? Um, do you know, that's a little beauty, this one. Um, and then we can go twisty. So, we'll throw that one in. We'll throw one of them in, and we'll throw one of them in. And I think that should be absolutely bob on. In fact, the requirements currently with this make it a hell of a lot easier if you can get through the first couple of rounds with with it being just any sort of like asia pacific grand prix it takes away the standard stipulation the all surface and the off-road stipulation um and that obviously will then come back at round 21 um so we're gonna need three this time oh we've already got three in um and you know what it's all twisty again um, so realistically, I don't think there's anything too much of a problem here. Oh, sorry, um, Lambie, if you're watching, look at your, your favourite car, mate. <laughs> it's a bit of a running joke. Um, Lambie is in my Discord server, um, and... He's got like 25 of the Nissan Seldricks, <laughs> Cedrics or whatever they are. It's just becoming a bit of a running joke every time he pulls one. Um, and of course, guys, if you want to come and join the Discord, you're more than welcome. The link is down below in the description. Come and say hello. Um, it's a nice, It's a nice place to be. Okay, so we're pretty good with that hand also. Um, Okay, so 21. Um, okay, so we're, uh, we're going to need to have the Asia Pacific Grand Prix non prize cars and at least one standard or all surface. Um, so I'm going to just choose that one. So we're going to put that on there now that is off-road tires on the wet so that shouldn't be too much of a problem um and guys if you start looking you've got a dirt on race one so we are going to have to choose something Do you know what i didn't even notice i had four wheel drive off-road tires very cool um so let's go and change because we don't need so much high ones so we will get rid of that um And you know what, we're going to put, we need something with all surface or off-road anyway to beat that that one. Um, and then you've got a choice of whichever car you want. So, you know what, we don't need too high of a car. Um, we're going to go with that one, just see how that plays. So I'm happy to put that on there and that on there. Um, that's actually surprisingly better than I thought. 5.1 and 90. So we're going to try that. 
and see what happens. Now, I probably went a bit overkill there with that one, but... That Hyundai is very good. Well, both of them are very good there, to be fair. Um, and do you know what? I thought this front-wheel drive Mazda would have a little bit more handling than 86. Um, oh, God, that is very quick. Uh, but, of course, around the corners, it's losing so much because of the off-road tyres. So the standard tyres working on the Mazda. Um, but that is a... Is a hell of a car, one I'd love to get. I suppose it just remains to be seen how hard this final bit is going to be. So have we got two in this time? We have already got two in, so we've got standard duty. So we, in fact, here we just need something quite quick for the test bowl. That can stay in. That can stay in. Then we just need something for G-Force and something for Salem. Both dry. Um, so we're actually going to need to use something with standard tyres or off-road tyres anyway. Um, so I'm going to bring that in because I think that is a pretty cool car, like I've said. Um, and then... Probably I'm going to bring that one in. So we're going to go there. Um, oh, it's going to be close. It's going to be close that last race, and I think that's the one we've got to wait to watch. The Pajero actually looked pretty good. A 5 and 83. All surface tyres. So that does reach 152. That Mitsubishi I haven't got yet. This will be quite close. Um, that Mazda is really quite light. The, the ultra rare. So this is the one that I needed to kind of watch because this Hyundai looks like it's very wide and very heavy. So, okay, so I, I need to change that. Um, we've got plenty of RQ to play with, so it's not like it's a, um, a huge problem. So we know that one wins. Oh, God. So I think we're going to have to find something to try and win that first race with the standard tyres. Or the all... Um, I think that's where the problem's going to lie. And for me, it's what do I use? Because I have got... Um, Not a great deal. That's maxed at least. Um, I don't want to have to go all the way up to Epic to do it. So. What do I do? I wonder if anything's got really good top speed. I'm not seeing anything really that's got a a lot about it. Um, and it has to have those tires. So this is where like, you know, I'm starting to to find a problem with it. That's not got bad top speed, actually, the before -y. So I wonder if we, if we do that on there, we know that wins. 
that, that, and, and that. And let's just see if the before he has got enough grunt about it um, to get that top speed going up, you know, getting up towards that top speed. Because there's actually only two mile an hour difference between them. Um, but look, it's so slow. But is it going to catch up right at the end? No, it's not. It's pants. Um, why is that an RQ49? Okay, so let's go again. Let's try something. If we know everything else worked. So... We could either use something with a decent top speed, which we know there isn't many, or we need to find something to win <laughs> elsewhere. Um, I don't want to have to use any really high car. I wonder how that would perform on the test bowl. Is it going to get anywhere near its top speed? Um, or is it fast enough to win anything else? So probably not. We know that and that. We're happy with that. Now, if I have to go epic, I'll go epic. But um, I don't really want to have to. So let's see how this Mazda performs top speed wise. It's too slow. It's too slow. Right. Okay. So. This would be a good one. But the problem is I've not maxed it. So options when it comes to top speed is not really, uh, there's not a lot you can choose from. So unfortunately, guys, I am going to go epic, and I'm going to go with that. Um, uh, but hopefully you guys have got something that can tackle that. 6.2 and 81. So if you've got it built 323, I think you'd be okay. Um, but I'm going to go there. That's the way I'm going to have to go, I think. And hopefully, hopefully my 67 has got enough grunt about it to beat that 68. Um, it's certainly got the handling, but, you know, handling's not always everything if it's going to lose um, on the fast section. Okay, it's staying ahead. It's staying ahead. I'll take the win. Um so that was certainly a difficult round. Um, I wonder how hard it's actually going to be. Uh, so we're just going to throw them in for now. So we've got a quarter mile drag and a one mile drag. Um, and that's that's maxed as well. And we, like I've just said, top speed isn't really um, this update's forte. Oh, God. Um, so I need, uh, at the moment, currently there, I'm not using any standard tyres. So that's a standard tyre. Um, I wonder if mine would win, because mine's 323. Three. So that's two standard tyres being used. So I at least need to find another standard tyre car. <laughs> And I feel like there's not many options to be using. Um, well, I've got the off-road as well. So I'm definitely going to have to use something bigger for the drag. I can't actually remember what else there is. Um, Uh, 
I'm going to throw that in for now, and I'm just going to... I'm going to... Oh, no, I haven't got enough for that. I'm going to throw that in just for two minutes, just to see what we've got. So I think that's good enough for that. That's possibly good enough for that. Um... That, what do you put on the hairpin road? What do you put on that hairpin road to beat that? Um... Oh, God, there's not enough great cars here, is there? It's got to be something with those tyres. <laughs> what's going to beat that legendary in a drag with standard tyres? I wouldn't think... Anything here who's got the grunt to do it. Uh, unless I try. I try that. And then I still need something really quick to beat the other in a drag as well. Um, oh, no, on the hairpin. Starting to get difficult, guys. I'm not going to lie. It is starting to get difficult. It might be, then I'll go and max something and come back to it in a little bit. Um, so, 3-2-3 three, three wins over 2-3-3 three, three with that. Now, it's just this last drag race. Has this RQ67... Got enough grunt to stay. Oh, it has. Wow. Okay, guys. Um, it's really, really starting to get tough. It really is. Um, I suppose that's kind of the point behind it. But you know what? We're not seeing much in regards to off-road. We're not seeing much in regards to wet. Um, so we're going to go there. And again, another big drag, uh, another naught to 100 ish. That's not a problem. A one mile drag, a naught to 100, and a twisty circuit. <laughs> And I don't even know what to tell you guys what to use here. Um, okay, guys, so round 24 um, and in a bit of a turn of events, I'm still waiting um, for my final fuse on, on the... On the legendary but it's uh it's got four minutes left and i've just gone on to check um as one of the guys made a comment on the discord um saying oh could you not try a different car and i thought well, okay i'll have a look see if i can use a different car um to find that round three of this one round the race number three has changed um so this makes it a little bit easier so we're still going to use the ionic Round one, I'm still going to use the Epic on round two, but 
you know, hopefully if you've got a 3-2-3, you should win that one. Um, I haven't built it. Now let's see if... So it's mm, still very... Uh, it's not going to win that one, but um, I could actually now use um, that and give it a go. Um, I'm not sure. I mean, maybe something like that maxed would win it. Uh, but this is what I'm going to use now to see how it works um, and hopefully pass this round and then go and get the carbon fiber on round 25. Uh, now, I don't know. I have seen round 25. One of my friends showed it me, uh, but I'm not entirely sure whether or not that has changed. Also, um, so the Ionic now takes the win. Um, and that is currently built 2-2-3. Two, two, um, so, guys, you should be able to win that with a 1-1-1 one, one, one build. Um, and in the final round, round 25, um, so we do need five of these cars. So I'm going to just, I'm going to throw that in. I think it's all wet. Um, so it is where look at that that is maxed at 3.396 on a 323 build um you know currently we're at the stage now where you've got to use the best that you've got so uh i'm going to replace these two with some bigger cars um and i'm going to go with that and that and see how it plays out um so actually i'm going to go there and there 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 and there and hopefully that will give me the carbon fiber uh, now guys i don't know what's going to happen here that hyundai is of course very fast um but being on off-road tires it does make it um, a little bit less strong. Hmm, there's not much difference between them, but then again, mine isn't maxed either, whereas that one is. This shouldn't be a problem. Um, I expect that this tri-series is going to be a very difficult tri-series. And I do believe some people think that there is going to be also a tri series trial like they have been doing recently. So this is for the carbon fiber. Now, I'd love to find something, of course, good in the carbon fiber. Um, I get a feeling that my ceramic was probably better. Um, so we'll have to wait and see. So it is an RQ47 followed by... An RQ67, so I'll take a second Epic. Uh, that one will probably be food, as I've already got it maxed. Um, but, you know, it's always worth to have. Um, of course, would have liked something higher, but that is um, how it is. So I hope that that's been helpful to you guys. It's a fair old uh, tri-series. Tri uh, try series tune up so thank you very much for watching have a great day and i will catch you next time for another top drives video take care bye bye